Hey everybody, it is your friend Keith here again at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England, and I'm showing you today yet another Epiphone Zach Wild signature, Les Paul. Very cool guitar. It's the Les Paul Custom. It's got black inlays on a rosewood fretboard and uh, the classic custom diamond inlay on the headstock. This has got the 81 and 85 EMG Zach Wild combo. 81's the silver, 85's the gold on the font, that is. So if you look at the EMG logos, you can see they are different colors. This is actually a, a Chinese model. This is a later one. So initially these were made in Korea and then later in China. The build quality feels the same to me. I, I can't tell the difference. Uh, the nicer thing about the later models is they come with the proper active EMGs versus the passive EMG HZs or HZs, as they say over here. Um, you know, they all come with Gold Grover tuners. We'll go over some differences between the Chinese models and the Korean models. Uh, in some ways, I guess you could say the Chinese ones are actually nicer. Um, but yeah, let's talk about that. So for starters, we've got a quick access battery cover. Now, how intelligent is that? I think it's actually quite silly in the, this day and age to have active pickups on a guitar without, you know, with having to bust out a screwdriver and pull out four screws. It's just, it's not convenient at all. And if you were to gig with this and had an emergency situation, not ideal. So that's different. And that's a bonus. That's an upgrade and an improvement over the Korean models. Uh, the necks are different. There's no scarf joint here which I guess you could say is more true to form for the original Zach Wilde guitar. His doesn't have a scarf joint either. That being said, people like them because they add more uh, stability, I guess, to a neck. So you might think that the Korean neck is slightly a better one or more expensive. I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on it because I don't have issues with headstocks snapping off. Um, the binding all looks the same. The logo is nicer on the Chinese ones in the terms of the bullseye is crisp. Now, you'll hear some people say that, oh, if it, does, if it has four circles, it's a fake. And if it has three circles, it's a, and it, it's a genuine one. Well, that, that is true sometimes, but not all the times. The later models have nice, crisp bullseyes like that. The earlier ones have uh, one less stripe and they've got... Uh, uh, it, it looks very blotchy and kind of bleeds through. Serial number format, 13, so it's a 2013. Um, what else? The only other difference is the headstock shape is slightly different. On the Korean models, this part here gets about down to there. It's a little bit deeper. Um, I think the font changes slightly as well. But aside from that, guys... Hell of a guitar for the money and totally worth it compared to the cost of what the Gibson is. You know, at the end of the day, you're, you're playing through some hot EMG active pickups, going through a hot amp more than likely and a few pedals. You're, you're not going to hear thousands of dollars worth of different tone between this and the Gibson. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to see some other videos, I've got other Korean models on the channel, and I've got one big video where I've got, like, every uh, Zach Wilde Epiphone we had at the studio at the time. We've got, like, the bulls orange bullseye, that bullseye buzzsaw one, we've got the camo ones, we've got a bunch of these. So, if uh, you want to see some comparisons there, check that video out. Thanks for subscribing. We're, we're like, real close to 600 today. I think we're at 596. So I'm pretty confident we'll hit 600 subscribers today. You guys have been awesome. Head on over to our Facebook, Essex Recording Studios, and Instagram, Essex Recording Studios. And other than that, guys, this bad boy is going off to America. It's going off to California. So I have to pack it, ship it, and I will see you guys back here soon with another guitar. We had two awesome ESPs show up today. Can't wait to show them to you. Bye.